Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and welcome to another video about earthing and lightning protection. Today I want to talk about earth rods and their installation process. Earth rods are one of the most fundamental parts of any earthing system and therefore it is important for us to learn about how to properly install an earth rod. In this video, we're going to talk about, first of all, what are earth rods, the different types and functions of an earth rod, and finally, how can we install an earth rod properly? So let's start with the fundamental question, what are earth rods? An earth electrode is a conducting element buried deep in the ground, which enables the flow of fault currents into the ground. Earth electrodes can come in a variety of materials, shapes and sizes, including pipes, plates, a ring around the structure or an earth rod. An earth rod is a type of earth electrode and is an essential part of any earthing system. Earth rods are also known as ground rods in the US, Canada and a few other countries. So if you hear somebody say ground rods instead of earth rods, don't be confused. Okay, so what is the function of an earth rod? Fault currents can occur in any electrical network due to a variety of reasons like short circuits, lightning strikes, damaged equipments and many more reasons. These fault currents are harmful to any electronic device connected to the system and can also be dangerous to humans. Therefore, the function of an earth rod is to safely carry that fault current from the electrical system to the ground. Any excess current in the system is carried to the ground and is neutralized with the help of the earth rods. Thus, we avoid short circuits and damage to electrical devices in the system and other electrical dangers. So let's move on to the different types of earth rods based on their material. There are mainly four types of earth rods. Firstly, solid copper. As the name implies, it is a solid rod of copper. Secondly, copper bonded. This is a steel core rod and copper bonded on top of that steel. The copper bonding can be anywhere from 25 to 254 or even 300 microns. Stainless steel, simple stainless steel rod and a galvanized steel rod. The choice of which earth rod to use is based on a lot of parameters which can include the soil properties, the corrosion resistance that is required, cost and other factors that are decided by the electrical contractor and consultant. Okay, now let's get to the brass tacks and answer the question, how do we install an earth rod? While engaging in any electrical installation, first, make sure that the main power supply is switched off. Secondly, ensure that you use the proper tools, procedures and personal protective equipment for safety. The materials required for the installation process of an earth rod include first of all an earth rod secondly an earth pit or inspection chamber thirdly earth rod clamps fourthly earth enhancing compound fifth a shovel note the earth rod can be installed directly into the ground or an earth enhancing compound can also be used to improve the ground resistance this depends on the soil resistivity and site conditions. Now let's get into the steps for installing an earth rod. Step 1. Identify the right location for the installation based on the earthing design. You can use the Axis Earthing Design software to help you calculate the best areas for your earth rods. To learn more about the software or to use Axis's help to design your earthing system, Send us an email, the email is in the description. Step 2. Dig a hole with a diameter of 120mm to 150mm and of length deeper or equivalent to that of the earth rod to be used. So for example, if you are using an 8 foot rod, your hole needs to be at least 8 feet deep or deeper. Step 3. Place the earth rod at the center of the hole. Make sure to remove all the packaging material from the rod before placing it into the hole. The pointed side of the rod must go into the ground. Step 4. To improve the soil resistivity, earth enhancing compound can be used as the backfill. For this, pre-mix the earth enhancing compound into a slurry using the required amount of water. Step 5. 
pour the slurry into the hole and completely fill it to the top. To ensure that the slurry completely fills the hole, keep agitating the rod while pouring the slurry in. Step 6. Refill any extra space with the excavated soil. Step 7. Use the earth rod clamps after one or two days of installation to connect the earth rod to the conductors. Step 8. Check the resistance values of the entire system to ensure you have met your project specifications. The earth rod installation is now complete. However, you can add an additional step of installing an earth pit or inspection housing on top of the earth rod to protect the rod from external factors or environmental conditions and for easy inspection and maintenance. You now know the installation procedure for an earth rod. For an effective and safe earthing system, make sure to test the soil resistance and other parameters periodically. We hope this video helped you understand how an earth rod is installed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on earthing, lighting protection and other electrical safety. If you have any questions about earth rod installation, feel free to leave a comment below. You can also comment the topic you would like us to cover next. Again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be notified for our new videos.